don't sit on your coffee. Do my best not to. <laughs> oh, please. Well, we're in Peel. <laughs> we are. Um, we had a bit of a passage getting here, didn't we? We certainly did. Um... I've gone completely off course. I need another drowned rat moment. You're having one. About 11 o'clock, it was just after 11 when we got into the outer harbour. Yeah, it was after 11. So um, so we contacted uh, Douglas Harbour. Beverly put all the fenders on because we're still on the harbour. We're on a harbour wall. Mm -hmm. uh, so Beverly got all the fenders on and got the ropes on. And I basically just um, circled around the outer harbour. We contacted Douglas Sport Control and said, right, we're ready now, you can swing the bridge, because this, this place has a flap gate, but there's also a swing bridge that has to be moved. Mm. And they reported back <laughs> and said, oops, little problem with the swing bridge, it's stuck, the, engine it's, the engineer's on his way. So I had to circle around again, and they said that they, we could go on to the fuel pontoon. So that's what I decided to do, is to come out onto the fuel pontoon. Yes, because it's sort of like a middle harbour, if you want to call that. Okay, so uh, this is the fuel pontoon that I was advised to come into um, and it's in what Beverly calls the middle harbour so it's outside of the inner harbour um, but you've got to come in uh, to get fuel at high water because trust me when it's low water you ain't coming anywhere near this place. So it's the, in the inner harbour. Well, I think this is the inner harbour really, but you know, it's between this and the outer harbour. Mm. And so, But the upshot of it is it's more protected than being in the outer harbour. Um, so I got us onto the fuel pontoon. They did say that I could go forward a little bit more towards the dolphins. Now here's me looking for. I can't see any dolphins. dolphins. I can't yeah, see we're talking marine mammals. <laughs> yeah. This is a dolphin. I'm looking for dolphins. And I said, you know, they mean the big concrete thing. <laughs> yeah. So we're talking about this space here. But when is that a dolphin? Yeah. The only reason I said to Douglas, no, is because I could not see these dolphins. Because like Beverly says, they they were actually referring to the big concrete post. Yeah, that the gate rests on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So eventually the engineer came out and the gate very haltingly opened. But um, Beverly once said that, that coming into Peel is like a right uh, at night. It's a bit of a rite of passage. A bit of a rite of passage. <laughs> and even though I actually think that Beverly's coming in at night was actually worse because she had a crosswind. Had a huge crosswind. Yeah, and, and it was my, in my first week of owning the boat. Yes. Um, I would say that with the pat the cake, not open the smell. And the, and the conversation went something like this. It didn't appear on camera ever, but the conversation went something like this. Um, who's going to take us in? You are. Me? Why me? Because. But you've got just as much experience as I do. I don't care. You're doing it. <laughs> oh, that was in week one. <laughs> this time I said I had to do it because... You yeah, had four years of manoeuvring the boat around. <laughs> but also I realised I've never brought us into Peel. We've been into Peel, but I've never brought, been on the helm coming into Peel. So I said it would be my turn this time. And at night it's very difficult. There's a lot of lights around this place and a lot of turns. Mm. And it's quite narrow. So that's it. So we're in. We're tied to the harbour wall. Now, one of the things about the harbour wall in Peel is there's not a great deal of electric pillars around the place. And mm. so we're just still on boat power. Lucky for us, we've got the solar arch. We do. Um, and um, while we're talking about the harbour wall deal, um, uh, one of the questions that was asked by quite a lot of people is, do they have an exclusion uh, for the Isle of Man race? And the answer is no. If you want to take out the deal and use it to come and see um, the races on the, the Isle races of Man. on yeah. the Isle of Man, you will be fine. And um, talking to port authorities, what people 
in the past have tended to use it for is uh, coming over to see the TT races and then there is an amateur races in around August bank holiday weekend and that's the other time that um, uh, people, people come back for that come back for that so um, if you do want to use a Porsche Town deal and you want to see the TT races yeah good for going <laughs> yep so the other thing is that with the difficulties we're having with the gate, um, the gate will be shut permanently for a week from Sunday. Yes, but don't forget it will be open by the time this video goes out, so there's no point in putting that out. I know that, but the point is that we have to leave tomorrow. Oh, we have to leave tomorrow because otherwise we're here for a week and... Um... That interferes with our plans. So tomorrow we have to go back out through the gate and we're just going to have to hope the weather's playing ball with us. It certainly is. Because it didn't last night, did it? No, I got a bit thumped, but I'm very proud of us in the fact that it was 25 knots of wind and we were still sailing. Well, Gainer, things are a bit confusing, aren't they? There's lots of contradictory information. Uh, yes, um, at the moment the Queen has just passed and um, we're just looking at the flag etiquette on what we should do with our red ensign. Um, some people uh, are suggesting that we um, decorate the flag with, um, you know, a black ribbon and uh, I've got some appropriate webbing for that. But um, the government's um, information is that the um, flag shouldn't be, because we can't, put it at half mast that it shouldn't be flown at all um, and um, another website said that the black ribbon is only for flags that are indoors so seeing as um, uh, we're not really indoors this flag does not live indoors we're just going to bring it in and in a way although you know that is the correct advice you know you think the, at least with decorating it with the black ribbons, it's acknowledging it because I know lots and lots of people who don't even fly their red ensign. Um, so, you know, it's just coming in for two weeks. Well, I put the black ribbon on um, mainly because the number of times I have forgotten to actually fly the duster is ridiculous. I even have it on the uh, checklist duster just to remind me to put the duster out so because you know mark of respect didn't look any different from me forgetting I put the black ribbon on I just think that's better so what's the current crisis well we were going to depart uh, a little bit later uh, because that meant that the timing for the Calf of Sound was right. Um, but the bridge um, is already not working. Um, same issue that we had coming in. So what we've done is we've prepped the boat and we're going to go as soon as it's the engineer is on his way. We're going to go as soon as it's uh, open. Uh, there's a big Genoa um, who's uh, scheduled to come in first. So as soon as he comes in, we're going out. As I say, we had wanted to go a tiny bit later, but we've got to go because <laughs> this uh, bridge is definitely in need of maintenance.
<sighs> well, Beverly and I are wearing our shades. Yeah. Cool. Not because it's. Well, it is actually sunny, but we've got so much intense sea sparkle. Oh, you mean if it wasn't sunny, you'd still wear them because it's cool. <laughs> I, I don't think so. No. It's just the fact that I've got so much sea sparkle, um, I'm finding it difficult looking for pants. Yeah, we're going down the west, southwest coast of the Isle of Man here uh, to make our way toward Calf Sound. And it's an area which is notoriously littered with pots and crab pots. Yeah, because you basically, as soon as you've got any rocky coastline like this, then there's going to be rocky, there's going to be crab pots. Yeah, because the beasties like to live in the, around and under rocks. You know, the, the phrase, what rock did you crawl out under, is just made for this place. Exactly. Um, we uh, thought we were going to be stuck in Peel for a bit because um, as we were leaving, they were having trouble getting the gate open again, didn't they, Bev? They were, and the engineer was out again. So that was an engineer to get us in and an engineer to get us out. Um, so when we realised that there was going to be um, problems with the gate, <laughs> uh, we just sort of like... We didn't take the chance. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what, what if that was the last time it opened and we didn't go through? You know, what, what if after that it stuck itself solid? Yeah. yeah, so we busy prepped the boat, got ready, and as soon as it opened, we were through it like a shot. Yeah. The downside is it's as roly as hell out here. Well, we would have had to be in roly stuff regardless. Uh -huh. um, but we're on a foul tide. Uh, we've got the uh, Genoa out to um, the two reef position, but we're still clocking around at... 3.7 knots. She can't see it because she's got her Polaroids on. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I was squinting through the side. Yeah, so it's um, more than adequate. It's frustrating when you look at your instruments in this big black rectangle, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, but um, it's more than adequate to um, get us down to the um, calf sound uh, on time. It's way more than adequate. And because of the gate, we actually wound up leaving slightly early. So I'm thinking at the minute that we'll just bob into Port Erin and either lift a mooring ball or go into the northeast corner and drop the anchor in four metres. Well, there is that, but also, be but because of the, the fact that we've got quite a bit of swell, uh, we're having to do a uh, training run. So we're actually departing from the island as such. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the fact that we're having to do a longer distance might make up for it as well. It might. Uh, at some point, we'll have to jibe the boat. We will, but um, we're only on Genoa, so it's. Uh, we are, but do, do you know what? I think when we. Get about another mile or two, the jibe will take us more or less to Port Erin. Should do. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> See how it all works out. Yeah, but I love the fact that we're sailing again. Uh, anybody who watches this channel knows I love sailing. And oh, I love the fact that the engine's off. But Annie is working really hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our autopilot, yes, she is. That's our auto highlight. She is uh, one of our major crew items, crew girls on this boat. Definitely. sailing it's a constant looking at times um, because Beverly is um, skipper today aren't you Bev? Mm -hmm. and um, for my crimes yeah so we've got a tidal gate ahead of us which is car sound and um, Beverly is basically wants to go through at four o'clock four yeah. o'clock that's roughly the, uh, the tide in the sound will just have turned from north going to south going, it's supposed to do it at a quarter to four, given recent experiences. Um, when we went through bang on the time time of the turn, I'd like to go through 15 minutes later. Yeah, so she's going to go through 15 minutes just after the turn. This is the plan. 
Um, but basically what we're doing is just assessing everything as we get there. Our estimated time of arrival at the minute is 20 past four, so we need to make up 20 minutes. Yeah, so what we're thinking at the moment is um, to put the engine on and I think he's decided it's going to go on at half past three. About half past three, put the engine on, uh, start doing about four to four and a half knots and that should get us through the sound pretty much on time. So it's just sort of like making these little adjustments and... Um, Once we're out the other side, I'm happy for the engine to go off and the sails to come out again. <sighs> if there's any wind on the other side. Because of course, you've got to reassess your situation. You'll be on the other side of the island. This wind's coming from the north. Mm. So again, you just got to reassess and see what we're doing from there. Totally.